but I'm going to make a start, anyone else can join after. So what we're going to do is we're going to do a leg blast today. So it's not going to be like a hit workout, we're actually going to try and work the muscles um, with some technique as well. It'll get progressively harder, so there's different sets, different exercises. It starts off a little bit easy, sort of like the warm up as well. And then we'll get into some like plyometric type stuff at the end, jumping around a bit. So with that being said, jumping around, I know I say it every time, but just in case there's anybody new on here, have a look above. So we're going to be jumping up in the air, side to side, make sure there's you've got some space around you. Um, I think there's only one or two exercises that are on the floor, but if you want to get a mat or a towel, go for it. Uh, you'll need some water as well and I'll try and give out any um, alternative exercises, progressions or regressions, whatever, as we go through. Um, we'll get into it, warm up straight away. Okay, so let's just come down into a squat position. Okay, just try and sit up. You can go deep into it as well because we want to open the hips up. And then just lean out to either side. So I'm just putting my elbow into my right knee and I'm just pushing out to the side while trying to keep my foot flat on the floor. I'm doing the same on the other side. I can just feel it right in the hip flexors here. Just open up. And if you really keep your chest up while you're doing it, you feel it a bit more. Okay, so just shift your weight right to left. So I can feel some tightness there already. Okay, just shift it over, open them up, sit down. And what we're going to do is just take your right hand and then we're just going to rotate round. So the left can come into here and then we'll just rotate round like that. Bring the right into that and then rotate round with the left. So just try and keep your eyes on your fingertips. Back round again. Let's just get some spinal rotation on. Keep your chest up all times. We'll just go for one more either side. Okay, so those hips should be opened up quite a bit. We'll just sit up back on the floor and we'll just do a nice simple hip opener as well. So feet together and we'll just go side to sides. Okay, nice and simple. Just try and get those knees touching the floor if you can, really open up the hips, different angle. Okay, nice gentle. Another couple, get a bit of spinal rotation in with this as well. Okay, we'll do these, we'll stand up. We'll just do the hamstrings as well while we're up. So we've been doing this one recently, sorry, opposite, should be opposite. So right to left and left to right. Legs straight at the back. Let's just get the hamstrings engaged a little bit. We'll finish off on the floor with some glutes. Okay, so just nice and steady. Just reach for those toes. Should be getting a bit warm now already. Another couple. Okay, just hit the deck. Just some moving pigeon. We probably know this one. So let's bring it in. And let's just get straight back again. Back in. Let's just get them glutes activated. Okay, right up on your feet. We're going to do 10 squats to start with, 10 lunges, some high knees, and then a simple glute bridge, both feet. Okay, so squat, a little bit more technique than what we do in a hip class. Feet shoulder width apart. Okay. Imagine you're screwing your feet into the ground, squeeze your glutes, squeeze your quads, glutes, core, and then just go down into it, pause, and then just drive up. We're going to go for 10 in your own time at home, three, so this is still in the warm up a little bit, try and keep some tension on the whole time, so bum squeezed, core squeezed, quad squeezed, drive the feet into the ground, and then push off your heels. I ain't got a clue how many we've done, so we'll do another two. Right, straight into some lunges. So let's lunge forward. Let's try and keep all of these joints in a line, so the hip, the knee, and the ankle. And then we'll just come back. Try to not let your knee touch the floor if you can. We're gonna do 10 on either side. Chest up, nice and simple. You can put your hands on your hips if you want. If you've got a kettlebell or a dumbbell at home, you can hold that in front of you in like a goblet position, just to make this a bit tougher. Okay, this is six. I'm going to go for another four on either side. Number three. Let's try and get some nice right angles, guys, when you're at the bottom of this. 
It shouldn't be like a real big step out like that. Two right angles, one more either side. Okay, straight to 30 seconds of high knees. Go straight in. So you should be able to really get your knees up at the minute. Legs shouldn't be too heavy. Gonna go for 30 seconds. Okay, you're halfway. Okay, last 10. Keep them up. Three, two, one. Okay, we're gonna hit the deck. Some glute bridges, both feet to start with. So get your heels in close to your bum, squeeze your glutes. I'm gonna do 15. So come up, hips towards the ceiling, squeeze, pause, come back down. 15 your own time. Three, squeeze at the top, you should feel the hamstrings and the glutes working. Number seven, if you can feel it in your lower back, just move, try and move your heels a bit closer to your bum. You might just be too far away. Number five, squeeze at the top, hips really up towards the ceiling. Three, two, and one. Right, relax. We'll go around that again quickly, okay? So back up, we should be right. Back into some squatting. Drive. Generate the tension, guys. If you're just joining us, we want to be tight. Core, quads, glutes. Really squeeze them. Generate some tension. Chest up. And then drive off the heel. Number four. Last one. Okay, some lunges. Let's go for it. Ten again on either side, we know the technique. Because if you've got a weight, anything, bag of sugar or anything in front of you, you can just hold it in a goblet. You can definitely feel my hamstrings after them glute bridges like you can at home. Okay, number four, nice and steady. So you can put your hands on your hips if you want to. Number two. Right, we're going straight into high knees after this for 30 seconds. Okay, go straight into it. Let's get them right up. Last 30 seconds of high knees, we're moving on to some different exercises after. Halfway through. Last 10 seconds, should be burning a bit by now. Five, three, relax. Okay, hit the deck. 15 glute bridges again. So, heels quite close to your bum. Let's squeeze up. Okay, try and put your hands on your chest. We don't have any hand, hands helping us out at all. Number five guys, hamstrings should be burning. Hopefully some glutes as well. Last one coming up. Good stuff, okay? Grab yourself a little bit of water, we're only going to have 30 seconds rest and we've got another set of four exercises to go through in a quick circuit. Who's joined in? Chris? Alright mate, up the villa. No monkey jumps today mate, sorry. Alright Liz, hope you're okay. Been liking your uh, food on Instagram, looks delicious. Wouldn't like to see some of that in the gym when we get back down there, just a little hint there. Right, we're going to do some Cossack squats, so we're going to work the adductors this time. So a Cossack squat, we're just going to go to the side. You see this? It's going to come up. Same side, I'm going to lean over, okay? So I should feel it all up here. 
So I'm just working the adductors and muscles on the inside of the thighs. Okay, again, if you've got a weight, you can have some resistance in that goblet squat position. So we're stretching and strengthening really with a Cossack squat. We're going to go for another five on either side. Okay, another three. Let's just do one more then, guys. Right, we're going to do a split squat. So split squat, you're going a little bit narrower than a lunge, and we're not lunging forward or backwards. This back leg is going straight down when we're at the bottom position. The hamstrings are more or less be touching the calf, okay? So we'll do 10 on either side, under control. So with the front foot, the knee should be coming over the second and third toes. And then we're just generating that tension again. So it's just squeeze every muscle we can in the lower body and the core. Number three, and try and stop the knee from touching the floor. Last one this side. Good stuff. And then we'll swap it over. So again, not too wide, not, not lunge width. If you're finding that too easy at home, you can elevate the front or the back foot. So if you've got a little step or anything, you can just a couple of books you can go on to. You can use those. Okay, should feel it in your hamstring quite a lot as well. Number four. So this is a bit of a tougher version of a squat, um, a lunge, sorry. Okay, gonna hit the deck, 30 seconds of mountain climbers. Okay, we all know the crack with this. Knees up to a chest, all right? We're going three, two, and one. 30 seconds, knees up to chest and elbows. Halfway through guys, keep it going. Last five. Relax right. We're going to do a glute bridge variation. We're going to take one leg away. So if you found the two footed glute bridge hard enough, you can do that again. If you want a bit more of a challenge, same starting position. Pick your right leg up, nice and straight, tuck your chin in this time, and then we'll squeeze up, and let's just get the one, doing a lot more of the work. Okay, we'll go for eight on either side. Number three, if you're doing the one leg, if you're not, if you're doing the two, just carry on to 15. Okay, swap it over, right leg on the ground, Left leg up, squeeze up, squeeze the glutes, the hamstrings. Okay, right, we'll go back around again, so straight to Cossack squats. For the next one on the glute bridge, if you want to make it harder, you can elevate your feet again, so anything you can use that doesn't slip. If you elevate it, you'll get a bit more range of motion on there, okay? Cossack squats, 10 on either side guys, so we'll go, if you can see that at home, let's bring the toes up towards the shins and get a good stretch on. Okay, go 10 on either side, that's three. Number four on either side guys. Adductor is quite a neglected muscle to strengthen up, so we've got exercise for it. Keep your chest up. Go for the last one on the other side, and we're going to some split squats. Okie doke. Split squats. Okay. Not too far apart, remember. We'll go for tens. Just try and put your hands on your hips this time. Nice balance. Seven, got number three to go. And three, okay. Let's chop it over. So, not too far apart again, about two feet width apart. 
Let's go back down again. Let's try more. Let's get that rear hamstring touching that rear calf if we can. Okay, number five this side. And we're straight to mountain climbers. Four. Three. Chest up, guys. Two. One. Okay. 30 seconds mountain climbers in three, two, and one. Let's go. Halfway in. Last 10 seconds. Make sure we burn if we're doing this right. One, good work. Right, glute bridges, eight on either side, or 15 if you're doing the both, okay? Let's go. And number four for the one-legged guys. Should really feel this in the hammies. I definitely can. Okay, swap it over. Try and keep your chin tucked in for this one, guys. Just protect that neck, top of your spine. Got a rest coming up, one more rep. Right, little water break. The next one will have a bit longer. The next one's gonna be some plyometric type moves. And you know burpees are in there as well. We're doing all right for time. Give yourself 30 seconds guys, just wipe yourself down if you're sweating like I am. Grab some water. So we've got jump squats, jump lunges and burpees. So Chris and Liz, anyone else who's joined us late, make sure ceiling height, we're going to be jumping up. If it's not too high, just stand with whatever we do and just be careful what, what's around you. Okay, everyone ready? 10 jump squats coming up. Okay, so same technique, little pause, a jump and a nice soft landing with knees out, okay? Let's go for it, so slowly, pause, drive, soft landing. So we land, knees come out, nice and soft, go. Pause, drive, soft, three, two, one, pause, drive, keep the tension, squeeze everything, squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Keep squeezing, release off the heels, relax. Five. <clears throat> Number five left, guys. Two, one, pause, drive. Four, three, two, one, drive. Number three. Last two. One more. Drive. Well done. Into 30 seconds of jumping lunges. So we get into a lunge position, but we just switch in like a jumping motion, okay? We'll go in three, two, and one. Go for it. 30 seconds, don't try and rush it. Let's work the muscles. Legs should be burning. When we're getting tired and we're jumping around, injuries can occur. So let's just take our time. Go as fast or as slow as you feel you can. If you need to stop it, just do normal lunges or reverse lunges if you want. Okay, another five seconds. Oh, relax. Right, we're gonna do 30 seconds of burpees. Okay, as many or as little as you can. Technique, the most important thing. All right, we're gonna go in three, two, and one. Let's go. Take your time, everybody. You're over halfway. Number two. Last one, relax. 
Right, everyone's legs should be hurting. Well, this burn a little bit. We'll give ourselves about 15 seconds. Get ourselves together. Grab some water, that was a tough one. Okay, guys, we'll go again. Couple of deep breaths. Okay, three, two, one, let's go. Good. Squeeze, pause, drive. Last round of jumping squats. Fourth one coming up. Keep those soft landing, guys, when we're getting tired. Number five, three, two, one. Four left. Three left. Number two. Last one, my legs are heavy, I hope yours are. Right, jumping lunges. Give yourself about 15 seconds. Remember guys, technique the most important thing here. Right, 30 seconds, let's go. Try and keep those knees over the middle toes. Last round of these as well, these are particularly difficult. Last 10 seconds, take your time. We need to go into some lunges, just go in. Last one. Oh, legs. Right, five seconds of burpees coming up. Hope everyone's okay. I'm not too sure that I am. Right, five seconds. Three, two, one. Five seconds of burpees. Technique, core tight at all times, guys. Especially as you hit the floor. Squeeze those muscles. No back extension. 20 seconds left. Last 10. Should try for two more reps each. One more. Relax. Guys, relax. Right, grab yourself some water. Just use your towel if you need to have a wipe down. We'll give ourselves about 30 seconds to get our breath back and we'll do some stretching and we're finished. So nice deep breaths. Let's get the oxygen moving around the system again. Okay, right, as we're getting our breath, we'll start with some gentle stretching, okay? So if you can, the first one we'll do is we'll go legs together and then just lean back, okay? So you want to stretch out the quads and the hips as well. This is a good one for it. If you can go all the way back, if you're flexible enough, be careful what's behind you. Just push the hips up to the ceiling. And let's just get a good stretch on there. Breathing steady. Just lean back a bit further into it as the time goes by if you can. Really stretch them quads out. We did loads of quad work there. We'll hold this for another 20, okay? We'll just do it once. 10 seconds left, guys. Just hold it. Don't hold your breath. Keep your breathing steady. Okay, just get yourself out of it easily. Right, adductors and hips again. So we didn't have Cossack squats, let's get the burn of those off. Heels in towards the bum, really pull them in. Grab your ankles or your calves. Try and get somewhere where you can dig your elbows into your knees and then push those knees down to the ground. So it's feeling all along this area. Okay, and then move forwards.
What am I saying? No doubt this is abuse. Oh, she's done enough burpees for one day. Well, there you go if you do burpees. But you know if you're doing one of my classes, then there's burpees in there. Push those knees down, guys. Let's get the inside of those thighs stretched off. Okay, fine. We'll move towards the hamstrings. So let's reach for the toes. Knees on the floor. We don't have any bent knees like this. If you can't reach your toes, let's just grab the ankle or whatever and let's get a reach over. Nearly finished guys, we'll stretch off the other hammy and we're done. We'll hold this for number 15. Too warm to be working out indoors. Flipping out. Right. Number five, three, and one. Gently move over to the other toes. Breathing steady. Okay, we've got 15 seconds and the workout's done. Last 10. Okay, three, two, and one. Just relax out of everybody. Oh, hope you all enjoyed that. Thanks for coming in. Nice to see some good faces, Chris, Liz. Um, tomorrow I'm doing core at half 12 over on the uh, private hub that I think you're all in. If you're not, let me know, I'll get you access to it. Uh, I think that's about it. Everyone have a good day.